you like my hair vortex? Isn't it cool? My friend Bernie did it. It's like cornrows. It's like cornrows for, for white people. I don't think I can handle cornrows. I'll admit this was painful, but it wasn't as painful as I was expecting. And it was worth it. <laughs> Be like this now. <laughs> but how am I gonna wash it? That's the problem. I'm tempted to just not wash it ever. I was told to just put a plastic bag over my hair and I could still take a shower. But that's kind of nasty not washing your hair, you know? But if I wash it, it'll make this look not that good. Is it worth it? You let me know. So I had a really awesome conversation with a bunch of people tonight. It was very, like, philosophical. started with stand-up comedy and ended with stand-up comedy. Talking to comedians about comedy is a lot more interesting than talking to anybody else about anything. <laughs> well, because whenever you have people that actually understand the art form and they know what this is about, it's so relieving. Especially considering the world that we live in and how the world is like going out of its way to purposely get offended by every little thing. I gotta stay up tonight. It's like almost 3.30 in the morning. Like, I just went to the Hermitage Cafe with this random dude that I just met, who's from Kentucky. And I just dropped him off of his hostel. And see, that's cool. Like, I'm really grateful that I'm the type of person that would just like, randomly hang out with some dude I just met who lives in Kentucky. You no, know, like, not many people take those kinds of chances. <laughs> but I've always been like that. And because of that, I'm like open to anything. You think that just because I don't leave my house, you know, like, oh, I'm supposed to go on vacation and go to these countries and do all these things and see all these sites, you know? That's what makes me interesting. But that's not true. What makes you interesting is the way that you look at life and how you choose to live your life. I mean, I'll admit, I spend a lot of time by myself and I spend a lot of time in my house. And sometimes, I wish that I didn't. Sometimes, I wish that I had more friends and I had more active social life and I did more shit and I went more places. But then I think, would you really enjoy that shit? Like if you plan for it? Because I feel like the best things in life you can't plan, they just happen, you know? Like you can't plan to have a really good conversation with people, that shit just happens. You can't plan to randomly go to an all night cafe with some dude from another state. You know, you don't plan that shit. It just occurs. <laughs> what if you did plan that shit? Like tonight, Tonight I plan on meeting a total stranger. And eating French toast. <laughs> you don't plan that shit. <laughs> That's the point of this, okay? That's the point of this, this bit. These are all bits for my life, okay? 
I was thinking about some, some decisions that I made in the past, like stuff that I chose to film, particularly on my first channel, and, and kind of how uh, like weird it was, or people probably thought that I, I was uh, hoping to get some kind of negative attention from that. But really just putting myself out there comedy-wise, you know, it's taking a risk. It's putting stuff out there going, is this funny? Is this interesting? Is this is this uh, worthwhile? That's the risk. And not many people are willing to take risks, like taking a dump on camera, you know? Not many people are willing to do that because they care more about their image than they do about the craft of comedy. <laughs> yeah, that's totally the craft right there, taking a dump on camera. <laughs> Hey, that's a risk. That's a risk that not many uh, women want to take. That's why this is thought of to be like specifically a field for men. I'm saying the exact opposite of what everybody else is saying. The majority of, of comments that I've seen talk about sex. Like, it's it's always in a bit. Very rarely do they have jokes about sex. It's just, it's in a bit. Either some weird sexual experience they had, or pornography, masturbating, Is there an actual joke? If there's an actual joke, I mean, whatever. I'm not gonna tell anybody what their material is allowed to be. But it's a mere reflection of the culture, you know. And I'm not interested in that. That's why I just roll my eyes, man. <laughs> roll my eyes, read the Bible. <laughs>